My name is Shirley Horn. I live in Missinabi, Ontario, which is a uh, northern community, north of Wawa anyway. And uh, I'm here at Algoma University as the chancellor. I came up those front steps that are out front at the age of five. I was a former uh, residential school a student in this building, Algoma University, and I spent uh, seven years here uh, being uh, uh, an Indian residential school person, which was defined by the government and the Al Anglican Church of Canada. Um, after I left here, I went out on my own, of course, finished uh, high school at a non-residential um, institution. I just left at that age because I, I could and attended high school. And uh, from there, it's like, uh, you know, uh, meeting other people, um, getting married, starting a family, raising my children, and so on. And um, I came back in 1981 when they first had the uh, first reunion for Aboriginal former and former students of the residential school. That was quite a, a, that was quite an experience for all of us because we never ever expected anyone to fund a reunion for all of us. And little did we know where this first meeting would go to. So in 1991, we formed a uh, Children of Shingwak Alumni Association. I'm one of the original uh, members of that group and uh, worked through the years. As a matter of fact, I've been uh, with the group for over 35 years now. I came back also to work for uh, a while before uh, 2005. Uh, I was a chief of my First Nation in um, 1995 to 2001 and uh, I came back at the age of uh, 67 and that's a lot older than what people usually go to university for. Uh, I found it a most uh, beneficial. Uh, I never in my life ever thought as a five-year-old child walking up these university steps that one day I would be a chancellor. These are impossible dreams. And if you have an impossible dream, if you have a university education and you can push forward those dreams, they will happen. <laughs>